Hello, my name is Metin Arıdaşır. This is 313th part of explanation of my theory. According to my theory and my formulas, atoms are pianos played by the consecutive waves of free electrons. Each proton bound, atom trapped, electron having a different note. Fundamentals of my new atomic model 1. When a specific kind type of electron with a specific initial wavelength is free, it produces and propagates consecutive light waves. In this case, electrons are the same size. Freely wandering in the universe. Intertwined, interpinent, interacted free ways. They are the sources of continuous spec. In this case, electrons are the same size, their initial wavelengths are the same. If they are not relocating in all directions, their wavelengths are the same. 2. Atoms are free electron traps and prevent electrons from producing and propagating consecutive successive light waves. In this condition, proton-bound, atom-trapped, electron goes on cycling at its first cycle, but cannot relocate independently from proton. Each proton added to the proton chain changes the volume, changes the wavelength of each new free electron to be trapped. Here little matter. There are three protons connected with themselves at first, but per proton there is only one electron motion from N. When a specific kind type electron with a specific initial wavelength is free, we said, then each proton added to the proton chain, this is first electron connected, this is smallest, this is one proton, okay, this is second proton, this is third proton. This is first electron, this is second electron, this is third electron in lithium. And different wavelength, each one they have. Each proton added to the proton chain changes each proton added to proton chain changes the volume wavelength of each new free electron to be trapped once upon a time for instance this is now I computed 10.1 nanometer this one 16.38 nanometer richest one 229.9 nanometer but once upon a time they were they were what 91.155 nanometer okay free when they were free 91 91 91.155 91 okay when they connected if an electron connected with 
one proton 955 doesn't change but when a new proton added smallest one will be 22.28 nanometer second electron will be greater okay Yes, each proton added to the proton chain changes the volume wavelength of each new free electron to be trapped. This means that no two electrons are the same size as each other in an atom. This means they don't share same orbitals or same orbit, okay? Becoming an atom is realized by electron differentiation. In an atom, no two electrons' points are the same distance from the proton. This point wavelength. One of electron, second electron, two proton or nucleus, second proton, same. But not same with this. In all direction, intertwined, coaxial, concentric, but first one different radius, second one different radius, third one different radius, distance to proton. Okay. Yes. In an atom, no two electrons points. No two electrons points, no two different electron points are the same distance from the proton, from the nucleus. In an atom, each electron has different initial wavelength and each ionization energy in an atom represents a different initial wavelength of an at rest, at ground state electron. Yes. Snapshot, please. Three. Each electron in the atom is physically connected to a single proton. And the electron and the proton are coaxial. This one with this. Coaxial. Same axis. Okay. This is first proton, this is first electron, smallest, or last electron, smallest. Yes. And concentric. There, this is so important. There is no action at a distance between them. This means there are no attractive or repulsive electric forces and attractive rotational force between electron and proton. Each electron and proton make spherical, ring-shaped, intertwined joint motion and proton at the center of the electron. This proton at the center of blue electron. This proton at the center of green electron. This proton at the center of red electron. Greatest electron. Okay? At the center. At the center. This is proton. This is electron. Same. This is electron. 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 Proton. Okay. What? Coaxial and concentric in each direction. And their axis directions direction are the same. Together, this is axis motion, axis 
moves together, move, their axes move together, okay, in each direction. Yes. Yes. Each electron and proton makes spherical ring shaped intertwined joint motion and proton at the center of the electron. Four electrons don't revolves, don't revolves around the nucleus. They are not probabilistic in the thermistic clothes around nucleus. Electrons are intrinsic spherical ring shaped cyclical motion forms of meta sensation perception matter whether they are trapped by a proton or not they always go on their motion cycle 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 because of these electrons trapped by protons in an atom they don't produce and propagate consecutive waves but they are at their first cycle if they are not disturbed they are at their ground state each point on their ring shaped three-dimensional surface motion surface every point i said every point every inseparable point on every electron surface motion surface is cycling okay then Goes, goes on cycling. But we say at rest, in spite of we say at rest, not relocating electron, but cycling is going on for each electron at ground state, and each point has an initial wavelength, and each point has an initial. Energy ionization energy, yes. Yes, electrons are intrinsic spherical ring shape cyclical motion forms of metal sensation perception matter, whether they are trapped by a proton or not. They always go on their motion cycle, their surfaces are cyclical spherical ring shape motion surfaces and an undisturbed proton bound electron is an at rest electron. It goes on cycling, every inseparable point on its surface is in motion and has tangential speed. If you remember, I named every inseparable point on electron as the photon, 5. An electron in an atom does not change its concentric and coaxial position with the proton. The electron expands and contracts without changing its concentric coaxial position with the proton inside. These mean directions of their motion axis, directions of their motion axis, okay, direction of the motion axes are always the same and proton always at the center of electron. By the way, when successive consecutive waves from outside, from a free electron motion form to this undisturbed atom, undisturbed electrons, bound electrons at the rate of wave number squared these waves make these electrons expand and when their effects vanish these expanded electrons shrink again once while shrinking they produce and pour out single wave pulse and this is spectral line like this okay 
Yes. Yes. Tangential speed. Five. Same total. Center. Six. Tangential speeds of all joint motions between each electron and proton are the same, whether each electron's wavelength is different, whether distances between protons, nucleus, and surface points of electrons are, are different, and tangential speed of a point on an electron is 6.28 times the speed of light. Seven, whether they have different wavelengths for each electron's surface point, angular momentum is the same, and Planck's constant is nothing but angular momentum of an inseparable point on an electron. Eight, ionization energy value that represents first moment of ionization is nothing but removed electrons at rest situation energy value before removing. Therefore, we can think that the ionization process is taking a photograph of an at-rest electron without disturbing it. This means there is no uncertainty principle for the electron positioning in an atom. Nine, in an atom there is no identical electrons. Each electron in an atom has three-dimensional and radius wavelength, and each ionization energy in an atom represents a different size electron with different initial wavelength. Here, ionization energy 1, 5.39, corresponding wavelength 229.9, ionization energy 2, 75. 0.64 eV. Corresponding wavelength is 16.38, smallest one. Ionization energy, highest ionization energy is corresponding smallest electron, 122.38 eV. Wavelength is 10.15. These are different notes. Okay. For instance, here. This is new. This is 9th and 10th and electrons with different wavelengths I have computed. This is National Institute of Standards and Technologies data. This is my computation according to my formulas. Okay. And Schrodinger equation, quantum theory cannot manage this, cannot do this, cannot predict. As I told you before, here. Ionization energies of what? Neon. Okay. And I have computed. Okay. Corresponding 0 0.9099 nanometer. Corresponding 1.0365. Different electron sizes. No identical. Yes, yes. Must be quick. How? Where am I now? Yes, nucleus and electron are not changed in the constant coax. So tangential speeds, whether they have different for each. Yes. This means, or yes. Nine. In an atom, there is no identical electrons. Each electron in an atom has three dimension and radius wavelength, and each ionization energy in an atom represents a different size electron with different initial wavelength. Each ionization energy is ground state energy of a specific electron with different wavelength. In this case, electron and atom are undisturbed, and in this case, each electron is at rest. Be careful, please, from now on. Therefore, each ionization energy in an atom represents an at-rest electron's wavelength. 